Who is it? Anyone? Hey Raven, I'm Lou. And I'm Ercoli. Ah. Ercoli, Lou, come in. I want to talk to you about something. Hello, Hello there Raven. Welcome to my house boys. I have something to tell you. What the heck is it, Robin? Let's go force Kirby, Toad, Waddle Dee, Cappy, Waddle Doo, Froki, Charmander, Squirtle, Pikachu, Isabel, Jigglebuff, Digby, Pac-Man, and Claptrap to watch Freddy Got Fingered. How does that sound? That's, That's an, an awesome, awesome idea. idea. We, we love, love Freddy, Freddy Got, Got Fingered. I love Freddy Got Fingered as well. It's a masterpiece. The best movie of 2001. Better than Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Monsters Incorporated, Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring, or Shrek. Agreed Raven. Awesome. Let's do this my friends. Come on. Okay everyone, do you want to see some commercials from the 2000s? Sure thing, Kirby. I hope those commercials aren't scary, nor weird you know. Yeah, I agree with Jigglepuff, Kirby. Make sure those commercials aren't too scary nor weird. Yeah, I agree, Kirby. Can we please watch the 2000s commercials? Sure thing. Let's watch those commercials right now boys and girls. You won't believe your eye. It's Sully, Celia, and Mike. As Disney on Ice presents Disney Pixar's Monsters, Inc. It's unbelievable. See the monsterific mayhem that will have your family screaming with laughter. Ooh, they're so awesome. Disney on Ice presents Disney Pixar's Monsters, Inc. Well, isn't that nice? Now through Sunday at Conseco Fieldhouse. Great seats are available at the box office and Ticketmaster. To infinity and beyond! Yeah! Showtime. Look who's on the all-new Disney.com. Whoa. Surprised, aren't you? You can discover the hottest music, games, and videos. Great! Together with all your friends. I love this place! Yeah! The all-new Disney.com. Listen, watch, play, and chat. Ask your parents' permission before going online. You gotta admit, this is cool! The blue baloo baloo ba. The standard girl. And the classic bunk bed. Learn these techniques and more as Mike and Sally teach you the following fur-raising scare. <laughs> Your scare on. Rated E for everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hi, it's Gingy. He said it was urgent. He's a cookie. Gingy. This Shrek the Third HD DVD is just too amazing. It makes me look delicious. You look great. Well, HD is the best picture you can get. No, oh, it's making me want to take a little nibble. So many shiny sprinkles. Ow! Ow! For truly high-def movies, get HD DVD and experience the biggest hits this holiday season. <laughs> hey, donkey. 
Yeah, my wife is none too happy with how she looks in Shrek the Third on HD DVD. Why? HD is the best picture you can get. That's the problem. She says her skin's so scaly, it makes parts of her look big, like... Like everything! Well, it's a high-def DVD, and she's a massive dragon. Did I mention we was calling from the parking lot? For truly high-def movies, get HD DVD and experience the biggest hits this holiday season. You want to explain to me what these french fries are doing in my house? Dad, come on, they're my boys. Your boys. Your boys? Listen, you are a chicken. Stop acting like a side dish. What is your problem with french fries? Hey, you keep hanging around with french fries, you're going to end up just like them. Is that what you want? Maybe I do, Dad. Maybe I want to be a french fry. Is that so wrong? BK Chicken Fries. 12 pieces of all white meat chicken with the courage to be french fries. Hey, Mom, SpongeBob's at Burger King. Can we go? As soon as your dad's done. Yes. Hey, honey. Guess who I am? Come on. Who am I? SpongeBob, no pants. Wow. And I live under the sea, honey, in a pineapple. SpongeBob, no pants. SpongeBob fever is spreading. Grab some tasty chicken fries and toys, only at BK. You can join forces with all new Power Ranger Dino Thunder Toys, one in every McDonald's Happy Meal. Okay, pals, I only know one word to describe our next DVD. Incredible! Now you can get one of your favorite Pixar pals in every McDonald's Happy Meal. My coach is worked up about the game and our fate, and we just don't get it. Heck, we're only eight. When Mama steps in, is he for real? Looks like someone scored a Happy Meal. You can get one. a finger tapping toy from Disney's all new movie, The Lion King, one and a half, in every McDonald's Happy Meal. <laughs> wow, Kirby, those commercials from the 2000s were so cool and awesome. What do you think? Yeah, Pac Man, I agree with you. Don't you agree, boys and girls? Yeah, yeah agreed. agreed. Yeah, those HD DVD commercials with Donkey and the Gingerbread Man characters from Shrek were so funny as heck, these caught my one, big eye. Yeah, the 2000s Disney commercials were so retro and awesome at the same time. Yeah boys and girls, these 2000s commercials caught my big, red eyes, yeah, these were some cool commercials, don't you think Charmander? Yeah Squirtle, I agree with you dude. Yeah my friends, these were so retro, and awesome. Yeah, these were so darn awesome those 2000s commercials. <laughs> oh no, it's Lou, Raven, and Eric Lai. Yeah, I cannot believe my that it's the three boys. Yeah, you should not be in here without our permission, nor theirs. Yeah. Get the heck out of our lounge right now. Yeah, friends. You tell the criminal trio. Never. We are forcing you to watch a very bad movie. Oh no. We're tortured. Oh yeah, tell it. We're tortured, alright. Oh no. Please don't tell us that's a troll in Central Park, Thumbelina, The Lion King one and a half, Krong's new groove. And neither it's the Page Master, Home on the Range, nor... Shut the hell up, you sick bastards. We're taking you to Vion Stadium and Movie Theater to watch Freddy Got Fingered. Oh no, not Freddy Got Fingered. That movie is so inappropriate and disgusting. Yeah, Freddy Got Fingered is one of the most disgusting and gruesome bad movies of all time. Don't you think you think? 
Yeah, Pac-Man, I agree with you. Everything is going to be fine, guys. And gals. Everything is going to be fine. Yeah, it's going to be fine, you guys. Please, Urkel the Raven, don't force us to watch Freddy Got Fingered. Too bad. We're forcing you to watch Freddy Got Fingered and that, as final. Poland's, why the heck are you forcing us to watch Freddy Got Fingered? Yeah. This movie makes us barf due to the gross out humor or something. Yeah. This movie is going to make our eyes burn and melt like ice cream in a hot summer weather. Help. Freddy Got Fingered will torture us and make our eyes remove from our heads. I'm scared. What the? Uh, Honey, don't cry, sweetie. Everything is gonna be okay. Yeah, Isabel, don't you cry. It's all right. Yeah, sweet sister. It's all right. I'll hug you. Ah, uh, thanks, Digby. Thanks for a hug, sweetie. You're super welcome, babe. Well, Digby, that's sweet when you comfort your sister. And Isabel, everything is gonna be fine, sweetie. Calm down, okay? Yeah, Isabel. It's okay, sweetheart. It's fine. Just calm down, okay? Oh, thanks, boys. Thanks for taking care of me. Hello. Welcome to Beyond Stadium and Movie Theater. What movie or concert would you like to see? Can we have 17 tickets to see Freddy Got Fingered, please? Okay. Here are your tickets. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Ergole, Lou, Raven, please. Stop forcing me and my buddies and gals to watch Freddy Got Fingered. It's so gruesome and disgusting. Yep, you better cut that out right now or else... I'll punch you in the nose with my mitten style. Uh, no way dudes and gals. And Pac-Man, how about I'll remove your nose off of your head? No! Lo, please don't remove my nose. It hurts so bad. Well, too bad. I'm going to remove your nose and that's final. You jerk. Well, I have a sword to cut off your nose, Pac-Man. Here comes the pain dude. Ow! That really hurts! Aw, oh, hey. My nose got some detached Kirby Toad, please attach my nose back now. Oh no. Pac-Man. Your nose has been detached by a sword slashed by Lou. Don't worry, Pac. Kirby and I will get your nose back and attach it to your face. Hold on, buddy. We're coming. All right. Hurry up, please, boys. Here's your nose. We'll put it back in your face right now. Hold still, buddy. All right, dude. Can you wiggle your nose to fix it right, please? Well, all right. I'll wiggle my nose to attach it, right? Hey, it worked! Thank you so much! Hi, friends! You're super welcome, my Neko hero. We appreciate it, dude. All right, you idiots. Let's go watch Freddy Got Fingered right now. Well, I bet this is torture, isn't it, guys? Yes, Pac-Man, I agree with you, dude. This is going to be pure torture. Dear girl, Lou, Raven, we warned you three about Freddy Got Fingered. This movie will be so terrible. Yee! You have to stop forcing us to watch this disgusting comedy right now. Yeah, cut it out right now. Or else, you will be kicked out of the theater. Yeah, you better cut that out. And I agree with Kirby. Yeah, this movie is going to burn my eyes. Yeah, Squirtle, Pikachu, I agree with you with that movie that it will make your eyes burn. Yes. This is going to make my big eyes burn, you know, boys and girls. Oh, agreed, friends. This is going to be horrid and terrible, that weird Canadian comedian comedy movie. Stop forcing us right now. Uh, uh, uh. You better stop talking during Freddy Got Fingered. Zipper and seal your mouths right now. Yep. I agree with Ercole. You better seal your mouths during Freddy Got Fingered. The movie is starting right now. Yep. I agree with my friends here. Watch Freddy Got Fingered right now. Well, I guess this is going to be torture. We're doomed. We're doomed, guys.
All right, name the town. I'll be on my way in the morning. What? Nineveh? You don't want me to go there. In a land of mystery. <laughs> Nineveh! It's the other end of the world! <laughs> in a town full of trouble. <laughs> Nineveh, the biggest, meanest city around. Those people do not know right from wrong. It's up to one reluctant asparagus. You are a Jonah. You are a big shot. <laughs> I have the Jonah plush toy. With the help of some fearless friends. We are the pirates who don't do anything. Oh, you'll know that's right. Nothing. Zilch. Nada. Oh, lovely. To go where no vegetable has dared to go. We got trouble. You are, you are... Fish food. Big Idea Productions presents... Ah! Archibald Asparagus. Bob the Tomato. Oh, Larry the Cucumber. Perhaps I can be of assistance. Oops. And introducing a caterpillar named Khalil. That is only half true. My mother was a caterpillar. My father was a worm. But I am okay with that now. They may be fresh. Uh, they're a fresh when we cut them. <laughs> they may be feisty. Didn't I tell you to get off my ship, you lousy leaf eater? Fire one! But soon, they may be lunch. <laughs> Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. This fall. Only in theaters. It is very delightful, but I must go now. It's one of the most beloved animated classics of all time. I wish I was a boy. Is that you, dear blue fairy? But that's another movie. Ow, you're hurting me, dear blue fairy. How many times I gotta tell you, dog breath, I ain't no fairy! Coming only to theaters. Is it really you? In the fur! Disney's Teacher's Pet. World, here I come! I gotta be a boy! The musical tale of a dreamer. Him with the dream again. It's not enough you dress up like a boy and go to that cockamamie school every day! Who is so over being Rover. Be a good doggy. This really stinks. You should smell it from down here. What? Until one day... Dr. Ivan Crank claims he could turn animals into dumb human beings just like you. It's my dream come true. Now he's taking a chance. I've got to meet that man. And unleashing the power of his inner boy. What? Who is that? He looked a lot shorter on TV. Maybe it's the axe. I shall make you a boy. Oh, that is just wrong on so many levels. A boy needs a... He's a boy, he's a dog, he's a boy, he's a dog, he's a boy, he's a dog, boy, 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 boy. Coming only to theaters, Disney's Teacher's Pet. Oh, good. He's good. I wish I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. Since the beginning of time, mankind has searched for answers to the big questions. Where did we come from? Is there life after death? Are we alone? But today, in this very theater, you will be asked to answer the ultimate question. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? <laughs> the SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Shh. Bigger. Squarier. Spongier. <laughs> the SpongeBob SquarePants Movie. winning motion picture producer 
Samuel L. Bronkowitz. I have spent a lifetime in the motion picture industry. Now, after 50 years in Hollywood, I have finally produced what I feel is the finest motion picture ever made. I have called it the Kentucky Fried Movie. The Kentucky Fried Movie heralds the return to traditional values. I'm not wearing any pants. Film at 11. It is a film of heartfelt passion, a great love story. Oh, take me to the drive and prove you love me. <laughs> it explores the subtle nuances of interpersonal relationships. Of course, there are occasional moments of comic relief. <laughs> the Kentucky Fried Movie is a film that demands the greatest performances from the finest actors of the cinema. Hey, look, Roy. Roy. I tell you, this building is unsafe. Cities and flames, the National Guard is powerless to deal with the situation. Governor, what are we going to do? An anticipated 10% price hike across the board on petroleum prices. <laughs> I invite every man, woman, and child to share with me the joy and warmth of the Kentucky Fried Movie. It will knock your socks off. Zorro's back. Zorro, the greatest hero of them all. Thank God for your life, Sergeant. Everyone knows the mark. Everyone knows the mask. Everyone cheers his fame. It's the all-new adventures of Zorro. It's all for fun. And fun for all. Zorro, the spirit of adventure. A mystery in a mask. A legend that lives and fights in the biggest adventure of them all. No danger too great. No escape impossible. Sorrows everywhere. It's all new. It's all fantastic. Zorro, the most incredible daredevil in the most spectacular action. It's the all-new adventure of Zorro. Twentieth Century Fox invites you to take an advanced peek at the biggest holiday event of 1994. Starring Macaulay Culkin as you've never seen him before. In the world of Richard Tyler, danger is everywhere. Ah! Look, it's Richard Tyler. Go for it, Tyler. What's wrong? You scared? Hey, Rich, come on up. Solid as a rock. 8% of all household accidents involve ladders. Another 3% involve trees. We're looking at an 11% probability here. Go down to Gutman's hardware store, buy a pound of nails. We're going to finish this treehouse before dark if it kills us. Out of the rain and into a place where imagination runs wild. Welcome, young man. The library hard, please. I don't have one. You do now. 
Get ready for the adventure of a lifetime with the Page Master. I'm a cartoon. You are an illustration. Right now, he's only a drawing, while the most magical film of 1994 is in production. The Featuring the voices of Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, baby. Patrick Stewart. Ah, I ain't afeard of nothing. Frank Welker from Aladdin. <laughs> Leonard Nimoy. Dr. Jekyll? Yes, sir. And Christopher Lloyd. I am the page master. Producer David Kirshner, who brought you an American tale, Once Upon a Forest, and Hocus Pocus, joins director Joe Johnston of Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and the world's most creative animation designers to bring you an incredible world where Richard Tyler must conquer his own fears. Hang on, guys! I'm coming! That's it, boy! Go for the desert! The motion picture experience that will open your eyes to all the treasures the imagination can hold. The Page Master. Coming for Christmas 1994. Pictures, where they make a picture a week, and if it's a good picture, it's a miracle. Action! I'm in the heat, and I'm horny as hell. Got the bath. But that's not in the script. The script, I'm being eaten alive. Mary, this is not a film about the human condition. This is a film about tits and ass. Hollywood Boulevard, where starlets are made. Hi, I'm Candy. You must be an actress. Well, I'm trying to be one. Hello, cold and empty night. Hello, Hollywood. Is anybody sleepy? Or well, shall we have a three-way career conference? I was PG, Miracle Pictures. I had a little accident on the set, and uh, they need a replacement in a hurry. A stunt driver? Look, I can't. In this scene, your motivation is to, to be... stay alive. We buried our last stunt girl on Saturday. Good luck, sweetheart. They audition in bed, dodge flying lead, do whatever it takes to get ahead. No. No, no! I want action! Ha! Jill, what a performance. Jill? Jill! She's dead for real! How am I going to get my clothes on? PG, you just don't understand. People are dying. Hey, that's showbiz. Hollywood Boulevard brings you flooded castles, skydiving, water sports, future shock, axe murders, crime in the streets, hey! food, green meatballs, pink monsters, girls in bikinis. Girls without bikinis, witty remarks. Blow it out your ass. Naked well, truth. It's a real low budget picture, you know what I mean? Raw emotion. And Commander Cody and his lost planet airmen. Things happen fast on Hollywood Boulevard. Rated R. Cut! It's really great to be back on your panel. I'm sure the people at home will be interested to know why such a large dwarf as you is all dressed up like Frank Zappa. Tell us, Larry. What's the deal? He made me do it, Dave. He's such a creep. He's making me hold this Aladdin.
so excited when somebody from a group gets near me. I just... Ooh, I just... In this group, all I ever get to do is play half of comedy music. E -e. Ah, you must remember that within the conceptual framework of this filmic event, nothing really matters. Jeff has gone out there on that stuff! You should have never have used the elixir and only stuck to the incense. Oh, Atlantis. Once upon a time, that hasn't happened yet, there will be a spaceship called the Infinity. And steering the Infinity among the heavenly bodies will be the most heavenly body of them all, called Galaxina, a dream machine, transistorized and computerized to lead her space buddies across the farthest reaches of fantastic adventure with class. Venusian Thunder Ripple, 2001, a great year. Great. Galaxina, the beautiful. Galaxina, the untouchable. <laughs> Galaxina, the invincible. <laughs> she cleans, she cooks. Chicken. She does windows and more. I've adjusted my temperature. I'm better than a human woman. What year is it? 3,035. I got 3,033. This thing's slow. It's party time on the planets with the beautiful people of the intergalactic jet set. <laughs> At least you're not two-faced. Well, you wouldn't have chosen the one you've got on. Tension to the fourth dimension as they dodge death rays across the universe. Good guys. Bad guys. Nice aliens. My mate! Look at it. Huh? <laughs> It'll be my day <laughs> Nasty aliens. The name is Mr. Spot. Galaxina, starring Stephen Mock, Avery Schreiber, James David Hinton, and introducing Dorothy R. Stratton, Playboy's Playmate of the Year as your favorite gal, Galaxina. most enchanting stories is about to bloom. Now, Don Bluth, the director of An American Tale, takes children of all ages on a wondrous and spectacular fantasy adventure that will delight and surprise you. A troll in Central Park. It all begins when a lovable little troll named Stanley... I won't have him growing any more of those things! Flowers? is banished to Central Park by an evil queen. Oh! Oh! oh. 
It feels delicious to be so vicious. I'm the Norga, the queen of me. There, he accidentally comes face to face with a little girl. Chill. And her brother, Gus. Who's there? I'm Stanley. What's your name? Rosie. Watch this. Together, they share a remarkable journey as they experience the incredible magic of Stanley's amazing special powers. You've got to have a dream. After them! Until the evil queen discovered all the fun they were having. <laughs> now, you too can enjoy the wonder and enchantment of a friendship that grows and blossoms in a movie that will make your heart sing. A Troll in Central Park. When you believe in yourself, you can do anything. If you the fortune to have been accepted at this college, then you recognize this house. But if you never heard of Yellow Stream College, then wipe the dog mess off your shoes and come inside the house that's the pits of higher education and the home of Pi Kappa Delta. But wait! Before we go inside, there's something we've got to get straight. You tell them, Gross Out. Hey, you know what all these things are? These are all the scenes we can't show you. Why? Because this is a G-rated trailer. That's why. And the only way you are going to see these scenes is to come to this theater when King Frat is playing. King Frat. What makes this picture so raunchy? It's so offensive. Weasel! I'll bury you myself! Completely out of control. Well, there's his first annual win contest. Our contestants are all primed and ready to go. Points will be awarded on the basis of love. You've never seen or heard anything like it before. <laughs> Too bad we can't let you see it and hear it right now. And there's this emergency room emergency where the pie caps prove a long-standing medical theory to be nothing but a lot of baloney. This is impossible. I mean, ask anybody. This is medically impossible. I mean, maybe in dogs or Mad Magazine, but never in humans. Dark, dark. Will you just get us unhooked? Maybe in apes. No, not even apes. You can see no insurance would cover this. Okay, okay. That girl must be a real dog if an ape put a bag over her head. I guess that's all we can show you now. To the uneducated eyes, this may look like a party. But there isn't a word in the entire English language to cover anything like this. Too bad we have to leave just when things are getting started. But they'll still be going strong when you come back. <laughs> and a funeral that turns the last rites into a happy hour. Everyone is higher than heaven. <laughs> of course, there are other raunchy and offensive things too numerous to mention. That's ready. And that's ready. Hey, my gum. Is she pretty? You might say we have something offensive for everyone. We just can't show you the worst. King Pratt. If our name is banned, what can you expect from the movie?
So, are you going to like this movie? No way, boys! You better stop this! Yeah. This will burn my eyes off of my head. This is bad, really bad. So guys, do you want to see some weird movie trailers from the late 1960s to the early 1970s? Well, sure Sonic Sensei I haven't seen any of those movie previews before. Yes, Sonic. So, can we watch the trailers right now? Well, alright. Here are the movie previews from the 6 to the 70 boys. Let's watch, I hope they're weird you know. Screens outstanding artists. An emotion picture of unique power, of rare beauty, of fascinating danger. Pushers from Hell, their bag, supplying the hooked generation. They smoke our grass, drink our wine, and all of a sudden they want to split. <laughs> Daisy, the leader. Killing was easy for him. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. Acid, the addict, <laughs> depraved, brutal, sadistic. Dum Dum, tough punk, easily led. Kelly, the hostage, a toy for the gang. Leave her alone! Leave her alone, damn it! There you go. I'll throw your guns into the swamp. All right, Fuzz. Get lost! Talia, I wanted to say hello to a friend of mine. His name's Acid. They lived in a world of oh, dreams, oh. violence, and dope. The Hook Generation. You buzz, I got the... If you can take it, see The Hooked Generation.
Pictures announcing its most avant-garde presentation. This is the big one. The motion picture like nothing you ever seen. It's truth and peace. The motion picture that could only have been made 2,000 years after the fall of decadent Rome. 2,000 years later. Starring Terry Thomas. <laughs> Edward Everett Horton. <laughs> Pat Harrington. <laughs> Monty Rock III. Mom! Lisa Seagram. John Abbott. <laughs> Casey Kasem, <laughs> Rudy Gernreich, <laughs> Murray Roman, <laughs> 2,000 years later, is now. There's nothing to be concerned about, nothing at all. Simple misinterpretations of natural phenomena. Okay, where's the bait, man? Are they pardon? The bait. The chick you cats cast out into the turf. Huh? He wants me? I don't dig it, I'm splitting, man. Mr. Zubadu, just for a minute, you're on television. Welcome to International Culture Hour. Culture? Well, that's different. <laughs> Will you have a spot of tea? No, thanks, man. I'm cool. I've had plenty. <laughs> producer and director of Joe have come up with now. Phil. The first time Mommy slaps his hands when he tries to play with his pee-pee. I get so excited. Oh, you know you can go around the world for $30. It's only 15 in Buffalo. I ain't in Buffalo. That broad is a charter member of the Liberal Party. I just like it. Bye -bye, Are you still a virgin, Robbie? Well... Yes, darn it. How is that, sugar? Uh, isn't that rather a personal question? How do people have babies if they're not married? Maybe it goes back to the first no-no. Masturbation? I get so excited. What Joe did for the hard hats, guess what does for love? A canon production. A canon release. Get up. For God's sake, team, snap to it. Your mother made five beta cap at Smith, but I don't think she can make a four minute egg. Jonathan, not tonight. I'm too tired. Is there anything you can do anymore? Diary of a Mad Housewife, a Frank Perry film with screenplay by Eleanor Perry, from the novel by Sue Kaufman. 
In nine days, we are giving a party for 100 people. I would like to see you do one thing to make this party a success. Would you come to a party that we're giving a week from Saturday? This is ridiculous. I am going home. Sit down. Sit down. I can't stay. You make me too mad. You're not mad. You're scared to death. By far, the Perry's best film. Great movie making. Superb performances. New York Times. An important film. Life magazine. A pungent contemporary comedy. Playboy. A beautiful and dazzling piece of filmmaking. Holiday magazine. Certainly not a love affair. Surpasses the Perry's David and Lisa and Last Summer, L.A. Herald Examiner. Witty dialogue. The biting truth is earthy, refreshing, and strangely satisfying. Cosmopolitan magazine. You're damn right I'm a sadist and you're the perfect willing victim. As usual, you've got everything twisted. Where have I got twisted? Blisters the current scene. The best Frank Perry has made. Saturday Review. Now, get ready. The pole's stuck. Hi! Hey, I'm at brunch. At the first sign of death, it begins a cry of torment that drives the dying mad. The aspects, more than a myth, more than a maybe. A smudge, and another one, here, and finally another here. Gentlemen, what you have seen, what we have recorded, is the soul at the moment it departs the body. The aspects, more than a myth, more than a maybe. Good grief. I tell you, it saw me. Here is a man a minute from death, without a soul, with only one way back. Through the secret of the Asphinx. Clean light on the Asphinx. <laughs> the force within you that brings insanity at the instant of death. From birthday to death day controls the most terrifying moment of your life, your death, the Asphinx. The Asphinx, more than a myth, more than a maybe. Hello, America. This is Miss America. Coonskin's coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in it. This is it. Coonskin. This is really it. Sorry, Rabbit. If you hit with the big winning plan, now listen to this. Now listen to this. Now listen to this. Advice from your ace boom man. This is it. This is really it. What do you say? Try your luck. Break a balloon, win a baboon, right over here. What is it? <laughs> they didn't know. 
that in that wild, frenzied ride, they'd pass from the living. This picture begins where Hitchcock stopped and climaxes in nerve-shattering terror. I had to kill him. Carnival of Blood, a colorful merry-go-round of death. Get out of line, and you're in the carnival of blood. You've got a uh, girlfriend? unfolding of these detailed events with a friend, someone who might remain unchanged throughout this traumatic experience. Carnival of Blood, a Kurt Films presentation, coming to this theater soon. And another bloody chiller. Nestled in the California foothills. A timeless place where past and present merge. as an age-old curse comes to life, leaving death in its trail. Terror and a new excitement explodes on the screen. See? Curse of the Headless Horseman, coming to this theater soon. Rated PG. Well, guys, these trailers were so weird and vintage at the same time. Yeah, I agree with you, eh? You thought it? These movie previews from the 1960s to the 1970s were so weird and vintage at the same time, you know, pal? Yeah, modern Sonic, modern Tales, eh, eh? I agree with you with those previews from the 60s to the 70s, so weird and vintage at the same time, boys. Yeah, boys, I agree with you with those 1960s and 1970s movie previews. These were some vintage movie trailers shown on this guy's screen. Yeah, this movie trailer reel is more like a film project. Yeah, there was a 20-minute movie preview compilation from 1968 to 1974. It's more like a high school film project you know. Wait a minute, did I just hear a door knock in my ear? I heard it in my ear. Give Sonic a boom boom, I heard it in my single ear. Who is it anyways, guys? Well, let's all see, hope it is boys. Sure, alright. Let's go see who it is, guys. Come on. Ah! Why, hello there, Cassie Crow and Silver. What's up, what are you here for? Hello there, AYAI, Sonic, Tails, Sonic Boom, Tails Boom, Gold Mario, Luigi, and Mario, we have something to tell you. What's the story, Sarah, Casey? Well, Ercoli, Lou, and Raven are forcing Kirby and his buddies to watch Freddy Got Fingered. You know that movie makes them throw up and feel disgusted about that movie. Oh no, looks like there's trouble you know. Yeah, so can we go punish the bows now? 
Sure, let's go to Vian Stadium and movie theater for this right now, boys. So, gentlemen, are you ready to punish your Coley, you, and Raven for forcing Kirby and his friends to watch Freddy Got Fingered? We're ready, Kuro and Sierra. Let's do this thing right now, everyone. Awesome sauce. Come on. <coughs> Alright guys, we've arrived. So, let's get going to the theater projection booth. Alright Sierra, I hear you in my single ear. Let's get inside the theater right now, boys and girl. There they are, my friends. There's Recall Raven and Low forcing Kirby and his buddies to watch Freddy Got Fingered. Did you see that? Oh, yes. I see those guys. They're going to be in big trouble. So, boys and girls, how's the movie? Freddy Got Fingered. Well, I have to say, this movie is so disgusting and weird at the same time. Yeah, Cappy. I agree with you, dude. This movie makes my big. Blue eyes burn and melt like ice cream. Yeah, Kirby, Cappy. Same as my big, brown eyes, boys. This movie is so gruesome and disgusting. Stop forcing us to watch this disgusting comedy. Alright. Casey Carraro, Tails Boom, Sonic Boom, Mario, Luigi, Gold Mario, Tails, Sonic, and I, I wiggle your ears to hear deep to the theater. We're on it, Sayura. Let's do this. Now, since we hear the theater deep and clear. So, let's change it from Freddy Got Fingered to One Piece, Strong World. Alright, we are on it boys and girl, let's do this right now! Let's go, let's do it right now! Oh no boys. What the heck just happened to Freddy Got Fingered? Did it get turned off and change into an anime movie? That's right, Ercoli, Lou, and Raven, we changed it from Freddy Got Fingered to One Piece, Strong World. Yep. I agree with Syra. Freddy Got Fingered is one of the worst comedy movies of all time. Also, it's rated R, and it's too gruesome and disgusting. We are about to watch One Piece, Strong World and that's Final Boys. No! We hate One Piece, Strong World. Please, bring back Freddy Got Fingered right now. No, we are not putting back Freddy Got Fingered, because we had that movie big time. Yep, I agree with Mario. One Piece, Strong World is about to start right now. Watch the movie right now, Eric Ole, Lou, and Ravon.
It's so charmingly different from anything the screen has ever known. Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. A glow with the warmth of characters all the world knows and loves. Beautiful Snow White. You'll just have time to wash. Wash? Fearless Doc. Our house. The lid slide. The, the light slip. Blushing Bashful. Oh, gosh. Explosive Sneezy. <laughs> Carefree Happy. Happy, ma'am. That's me. Grumbling Grumpy. <laughs> Women. Ever snoozing Sleepy. Hard to get. <laughs> Lovable Dopey. And there's Prince Charming. The Heartless Queen. <laughs> and the Wicked Witch. Have a bite! Walt Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs is filled with the sounds of happiness and the songs all the world loves to sing. I'm wishing, I'm wishing for the one I love. I ho, I ho, in home from earth we go. Was it really just our last good night when I saw the light and I know that you've been telling lies? Oh no. Get your hands full of water. You snort and you snuff and go. With a smile and a song. And your heart is yours. He comes from beyond time, from beyond the outer limits of your imagination. He's the master of the flying guillotine. And he's ready to blow your mind. nerve-shattering special effects than you have ever seen before. It's a trip into a world where warriors from the ends of the universe meet in combat that knows no boundaries. A world where silent soldiers of death try everything in their power to conquer the most gruesome weapon ever conceived. See special visual effects filmed entirely in Super Cinevision as the master of the flying guillotine encounters the most amazing creatures in this or any world. As he experiences the most spectacular adventures the mind can imagine. Master of the Flying Guillotine. This is the story of Stanley Ipkiss. Stanley, you are the nicest guy. <laughs> really, you are. Yeah. His job is at the bank. You're 40 minutes late. Now that's the same as stealing. I'm sorry, Mr. Dickey. It, it'll never happen again. He loves his dog. Come on. Give him to me. Drop it. He's polite to his landlord. Do you have any idea what time it is? You know, Mrs. Peenman. What? Nothing. And the most exciting thing in his life are his pajamas. But now... Hey, you! What are you doing down there? I'm just looking for... 
Why not? All that is about to change. Because Stanley Ipkiss is not the man he used to be. Ventura's Jim Carrey is the mask. Ooh, somebody stop me! Oh. He was the best. He killed the rest. The master killer. The master of the martial kung fu art. Revenge drove him on. Vengeance would be his. The Manchu warlords would pay for their crimes. See the master killer, the greatest artisan of Kung Fu. He is the best. The master killer, rated R from World Northall. When the world is the target. 72 hours ago, a secret weapon system was detonated over Savannah. And the threat is real. GoldenEye exists. A radiation surge that destroys everything with an electronic circuit. You can still depend on one man. I want you to find GoldenEye. Three. Find who took it. Two. And stop it. One. My name's Bond. James Bond. The world's most famous secret agent is back. We aim to please. And this time, 007 is facing the ultimate enemy. The man who knows him best. Hello, James. What an unpleasant surprise. 006. What's the matter? No pithy comeback? He was your friend. And now he's your enemy and you will kill him. Is the satellite in range? Target is London. Now, the entire world is about to be caught in the crossfire. See you in hell, James. You first. Kill him. The pleasure will be all mine. Did you check her out? Head to tell. Three clicks, arms the fuse. Don't say it. The writing's on the wall. Grow up, 007. I think you're a sexist, misogynist dinosaur. A relic of the Cold War. You know, James, I was always better. Both of you, stop it. You're like boys with toys. The trick is to quit while you're still ahead. I wouldn't think of it. Charming, sophisticated secret agent. Shaken, but not disturbed. <laughs> Get us out of here. Bond, only Bond. The man just won't take a hint. Need the gun. That depends on your definition of safe sex. On November 17th, Grab him! United Artists brings you, trust me, James Bond. Why can't you just be a good boy and die? Now that's one trick I've never learned. One hundred and eleven years ago, when I was ten years old. Between 1858 and 1878, Jack Crabb was an Indian warrior, a preacher's ward, a gunfighter, a drunkard, a hermit, and he tried to kill General Custer. Take him away and hang him. And you can believe as much of that as you want. Dustin Hoffman plays Jack Crabb. Throw up three. And he plays him for real. After real, after real, after real, in Little Big Man. Dustin Hoffman, real too. These were human beings, my son. And now they're dead, rubbed out by those ugly, unnatural creatures. Why would they kill women and children? Because they are strange. 
They do not seem to know where the center of the earth is. We must have a war on these cowards and teach them a lesson. Dustin Hoffman, Real Five. You bad fool! Got to cut your throat to get it through your head. I'm a white man. White? Sure, I'm white. Didn't you hear me say, God bless George Washington, God bless my mother. I mean, now what kind of Indian would say a fool thing like that? Dustin Hoffman and Martin Balsam, real seven. You're improving, Jack. You just can't seem to get rid of that streak of honesty in you. The one that ruined you was that damned Indian, old Titi. You mean old Lotskin? He gave you a vision of moral order in the universe, and there isn't any. Dustin Hoffman and Faye Dunaway as Mrs. Pendrake, real four. You do realize, don't you, dear Jack, that the Reverend Pendrick is not altogether wrong. Oh. Oh, what I am. Well, Jesus is your savior. You do realize that, don't you, dear Jack? Oh, Lord. Yes, Miss Pendrick. Are you thinking of Jesus, Jack? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But you mustn't fib to me, you know. Oh, no. I love Jesus and Moses and all of them. Dustin Hoffman and Wild Bill Hickok. Real nine. Dustin Hoffman and General Custer, Real 13. Take my advice. Go west. Oh! 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 My wife, she, she's awful scared of him. My dear woman, you have nothing to fear from the Indians. I give you my personal guarantee. <laughs> Arthur Penn, who gave you the miracle worker, Bonnie and Clyde, and Alice's Restaurant, has created 15 reels of motion picture entertainment called Little Big Man. Oh! Oh, you devil! Oh! Onward! To Little Big Horn! <laughs> Welcome to your new home. I believe there's a hero in all of us. Gives us strength, makes us noble. Even though sometimes we have to give up the thing we want the most. Barker! What do you mean? Looking for you all morning. You're late. Always late. You're fired. Look at your people. Your grades have been declining. You always appear exhausted. I know I'm trying. Where you been, pal? You don't return my calls. I've been kind of busy. Taking pictures of your friend. Spider-Man killed my father. No matter what I do. Do you love me or not? No matter how hard I try. I want Spider-Man dead. It's the ones I love who will always be the ones who pay. I can't keep thinking about you. I'm getting married. I want a life of my own. And Spider-Man. No more. I let things get in the way before. There was something I thought I had to do. I don't have to. I like seeing you tonight, Peter. Now on to the main event. Octavius is going to put Oscorp on the map in a way my father never even dreamed of. Crazy scientist turns himself into some kind of a monster. Four mechanical arms welded right onto his body. You take Spider-Man's pictures. Where is he? He's taking me off your loyalty to Spider-Man not your best friend. Spider-Man to me. How do I find him? Peter Parker. Find Spider-Man, or I'll peel the flesh off her bones. 
20th Century Fox presents Phantom of the Paradise, a gothic horror story. What was that? A beautiful love story. A cinematic odyssey through the rock universe. From Greece to glitter. And beyond. The story of a sound. The man who created it. The girl who sang it. The monster who stole it. And the phantom who haunts the paradise. The ultimate rock palace. Phantom of the Paradise. My music is for Phoenix. I want to shake and sing it. Anyone else that tries, dies. Phoenix. Phoenix. So you told me one time that you'd be somebody, that you'd work, work, and just to survive. B. Snow! Oh, oh, wow! Man, you better get yourself a castrato for this. Paul Williams as Swan. And the angels that I want you to stop terrorizing the paradise and rewrite your cantata. And the Phantom. Oh, stop him, Tommy! Only oh, you might satisfy me! Phantom of the Paradise. There really is the Phantom, Phantom, Phantom. Monty Walsh, cowboy, born in 1843, died when he had to. Don't ask if he was real, because he was as real as the West. from control. I ain't interested. I'm afraid you'll have to be. They've given up on the slash Y. For the time being, they want to fence in all their land. That's all. That's going to be a lot of fence. Look, Monty. Do you have any idea how many Callahans there were in this country 10, 15 years ago? Well, there's a hell of a lot fewer now, and pretty soon there won't be hardly any. Well, oh, come on, Chef, things ain't that bad. Yeah, they are, Monty. Well, you can ride from Texas way up into Canada and back again. That's fine. But ain't nobody gonna pay you for doing it. Chef's got money. <laughs> Did you write 40 miles to tell me that? How come we never got married? You never asked me. I never thought of it. The way things are going, Cowboy doesn't make enough money to live right. Not alone getting married. I don't know what else I could do. Yes, sir, Mr. Wallace. Matter of fact, I've heard a lot about you. Not all of it bad, either. <laughs> How would you like to be Texas Jack Butler, Star Cowboy, Bronco Buster, and all-around wild man of the West? Monty Walsh will do. We couldn't get work. A lot of good boys can't get work. Well, I was starving. I couldn't rustle. Well, you ain't. You're getting your three squares every day. It ain't like we was rustling from anybody we know. Makes no difference. They belong to Slash Y. Slash Y? Stop planning about something that ain't anymore. The kind of life you're talking about is dead. Snow buried it last winter. It ain't dead. As long as there's one cowboy taking care of one cow, it ain't dead. Dumb egg sucking hoop. 
somebody gets to be a cowboy forever. There's gonna be a place for us, a place where we belong. To stand outside, just looking in, has got to be dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real. What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? What is happening to me? The answer is out there, Neo. It's the question that drives us. What is the Matrix? The Matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. What truth? They're watching you, Neo. Human beings are a disease. You are a cancer of this planet. And we are the cure. Get me the hell out of here! Welcome to the real world. So you're here to save the world. So what do you need? Guns. Lots of guns. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. Buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy. Because Kansas is going bye-bye. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Name, Kowalski. Occupation, driver. Transporting a supercharged Dodge Challenger from Denver to San Francisco. Background, Medal of Honor in Vietnam. Former stock and bike racer. Former cop, dishonorably discharged. Now he uses speed to get himself up, to get himself gone. Everybody's after Kowalski. Because you think we're queers. For one reason or another. Is there something I can do for you? Well, like what? Like anything you want. Everybody wants a piece of his hide. Maybe kill somebody. Maybe stole that big dude here. Maybe both. They want to get him and put him away, but they'll have to catch him first. Ah, that's my own info. This is yours truly, super super soul, directed live transmitted from K O W with the round down. And there goes the challenger being chased by the blue, blue meanies on wheels, the vicious traffic squad car after our known driver. The super driver of the Golden West. The police numbers are getting closer, closer, closer to our soul hero in his soul mobile. They're gonna kill him, smash him, rip the last American hero. It's the maximum trip at maximum speed. Vanishing point. <laughs>
His power is unequaled. His battles are legendary. His return is near. This could be the end of civilization. Get ready. I spotted him. For the 23rd big screen appearance of the world's biggest star. Godzilla! From TriStar Pictures and Toho Company Limited. Catch the ultimate showdown. It's an alien. Where winner takes all. Godzilla 2000. If you can't take the heat, run. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? No. Ah! You're being reckless. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman. Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Woohoo! Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? Papa's got a brand new stash. Since I've been gone, I've discovered the source of ultimate power. That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? Name's Tails. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. <laughs> Return to sender. Face it, you're never going to get my power. Do I look like I need your power? Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. Well, guys, these were a lot of movie previews in this theater. Yeah, Sonic Boy! I agree with his previews. This trailer reel is like 30 minutes long, you know. Yeah, there were like over 10 movie trailers shown in this theater before the showing of Ananam. I agree with those movie previews, boy. There were a bunch of trailers shown in the cinema. That was so awesome. Well, Sonic, did you see the new Sonic the Hedgehog to movie trailer? Yeah, Tails, I saw that. Plus, those movie trailers from the 1970s and the 1990s were awesome as well. Wow, Jigglypuff. Those 1970s movie trailers were so rare, and retro, and they were so awesome as heck. Yeah! Freaky's got us the retros and the awesomest Pauls and Gulls. Oh my gosh, we'll do that. Yeah, those movie previews caught my large eyeballs. Wow, Cappy, your eyes are so large, dude. And yes, those movie previews from the 1970s, 1990s, and the 2000s were so cool. Awesome, and retro at the same time. 
These caught my blue eyes. Well Kirby, I have to say buddy. These trailers caught my brown eyes as well. Yeah boys, my eyes are only black you know. They look like black beads. So anyways, the movie is about to start. Alright my friends. Let's watch the anime movie, it's going to be so awesome as heck. Ercole, Lou, Raven, Lucky Bad and Moxie are here to see you. Ercole, Lou, Raven, I'm very disappointed in you for forcing Kirby, Toad, Waddle Dee, Cappy, Waddle Doo, Claptrap, Pac-Man, Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander, Froakie, Digby, Isabel, and Jigglypuff to watch Freddy Got Fingered. That movie is rated R, and it's gruesome and disgusting. Yeah. I agree with Lucky Bat. Also, Freddy Got Fingered got very bad reviews, and people hated it so much. That's it, you three are coming with us. You are grounded and punished until June 21st, that's when summer starts. Let's go home right now. <coughs> You mean the comedy movie previews from 1979 to the 1984? Yes Charmander, that's what I thought buddy. So, can we watch the previews my friends? Of course, Kirby. Let's watch those comedy movie previews from the 1980s. No duh, 1979 is closer to 1980 you know, like late 1979. Yeah, yeah. So, so, let's watch, let's the, previews. watch the previews. Yes, pump girls are having fun now that school is out and the whole town is there for the making. Gee, I hope I can remember everything I have to do. Don't worry, it's just four easy steps. Grab it, stick it in, squeeze it, and let it peter out. Yes, pump girls, a motion picture delight when our girls change over a gas station and turn it into a fun station with sounds that will get you dancing while your tank is getting filled. Well, treat it like no one else in the world. Cause anyway, what's going on here? Don't you need your little bit of gas? I love it. Hey, girls! Woo! Hey! Come on, let's go check this thing out. Hey, gorgeous. Can I help you with anything? Yeah. Could you hold this for me? Anyway, you do it. There's gonna be magic to it. I always have so much trouble with these things. Thanks. Just what is it you're selling here? Gas! You gonna pump gas in my little pickup here? <laughs> Would you like regular or super duper? <laughs> Cause anyway you do it, there's gonna be magic to it. Gas Pump Girls, drive in and check them out. Rated R, under 17, not a minute without parent. Lovely Marin County, things are not as they appear. There's plenty going on beneath that eyeglass beneath. 
morning, America. Welcome to Marin County, California, where the search for the ultimate lifestyle is the goal of every man. Martha, remember I have a bad back. Hey, Rob! My friends are having a party. Every woman. Very happy, girl, very happy. He wants me to goof off with him standing in a hammock. And every precocious child. Now, as far as Stokely's concerned, it's just a question of putting him in touch with his childhood. I'm only 10 years old, you dork. Serial, an adult look at the sometimes not-too-adult world of the country's most with-it community. Eunice, Minus, Usness, Weenus. Sickness. Serial is a new brand of comedy. In an insane society, the same man must appear insane. Where'd you get that? Star Trek. Harvey. Holy. Serious. Harvey, this is Mark. Hi, I'm a Harvey. Uh, Please, Smith. I did. You don't eat it, you see it. He walked like him. He talked like him. Give me five, yo, mama, get down. He even cooked yeah. like him. He wanted to be yeah. just like Bruce Lee. So he regulated his diet, began intensive training, yeah. and learned to live like a great samurai master. You must now come through. Oh, yeah, I was stepping. And as his reputation throughout the land, his days became filled with new challenges. Eating chicken with nunchucks. Defeating criminals with a flick of his hand. And defending good against evil. They give that man his church back. He lived a life of non-stop action. Yeah. Cut the cards. Cut the cards, sir. Yes! Constant danger. Yes! Yes! Little time for rest. For relaxation. Deadly killers come to him. And every woman wanted him. Now, as long as you wear this, I'm not going to make love to another man. Me neither. He was a man that women would fight for. Great teachers respected him. And his wisdom was sought by everyone. The most important thing in life is fraud. Hey, man. It's the birth of a great American hero. They call me Bruce. No, Bruce. Chinese boy got a funny mouth. They call me Bruce, a superhero America can believe in. Yeah. Following in the footsteps of such great crime fighters as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, Charlie Chan, Hercule Poirot, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, we now proudly present Benson and Kerwin. What can I do for you? You two are going to handle this case together. Keep your hands to yourself, he's mad. Oh. I just spent ten years on homicide to be mauled by some old queen. I want you to live as a gay couple. Mr. Macho meets his mismatch. Ryan O'Neill is Benson. 100% all-male, tough hero cop. John Hurt is not. Partners. We were your age when we moved in, John and I. Oh, children. I think you could have waited a little while before you threw our first orgy. Listen, we're not going to get anywhere with this faggot. Why don't we just cut our losses right now, sir? Don't be a sexist. Go back, hold us hand, and get the job done. What are you doing? Are we on a case or a shopping expedition? I'm behind with the laundry. And stop ironing my damn underwear. Guys don't iron other guys' clothes. Well, get a load of weepy over here. I must be the only cop in the world that's got a partner that cries. Knock it off, both of you. Why did you choose me for this job? Because you're a good cop, Benson. A real good cop. My name is Benson. I'd like a word. 
and because of your cute... I beg your pardon? What time you get off? I just picked up the wrong guy. Well, what do we do now? Take off the towel. Take off the towel. No way. I know how you feel. I'm a cop. God knows. She's done everything you can to hide it. Maybe you're under a strain right now. There's a problem. Because he's bringing girls home. Sir, I quit. You guys are cops first. Well, let's go, man! Ah! Ryan O'Neill. John Hurt. Partners. Meet Paul and Mary Bland. Hey, you two live in the building. You must swing, right? Wrong. Good night. We're so lucky to have found each other. A typical American couple. I know. Good night, Pete. Sweet dreams. With a typical American dream. And typical American problems. You are through at Clay Liquor. Mr. Leach, I'm sure the bank has nothing to worry about. It's going to get everything that's coming to it. The bank wants to see what it's getting oh, into. <laughs> With the Blands, life was just a rat race. A cartoon mouse. Oh, great. Trigger likes you already. Oh, we like B and D, but we don't like S and M. We met at the A and P. But they found a way to beat it. <laughs> Until Mr. Raul Mendoza, Como esta usted? They met a hot-blooded, emotional, crazy Chicano. I'm a hot-blooded, emotional, crazy Chicano. Eating Raul. Is it a thriller? Is it a romance? It was very wrong. Is it a tragedy? Excuse me. May I sit down? Yes. Is it a comedy? Yes. But not the type that you're used to. Eating Raul. Rated R. They're fast. They're fun-loving. They're fearless. They're nuts. You catching it? <laughs> By day, they're the finest hot-dogging, freestyle skiers in the world. By night, they really take chances. You busy for dinner? Now that's a girl I can take advantage of. This is the motion picture comedy that's proud to go downhill fast. The movie that defies the forces of gravity. Sanity. And good taste. Hot Dog, the movie. Experience all the ducking, flipping, turning, chugging, jumping, sliding, gliding, speeding action you can take. And that's just in the hot tub. Oh boy. Gasp at stunts. Only a team of world-class madmen would dare to attempt. The dreaded Chinese downhill. The greatest challenge of all, Playboy's Playmate of the Year, Shannon Tweed. Thank you. It's the fastest, hottest, feet in the air, head in the hot tub comedy of the long, cold winter. So grab your poles and kiss your buns goodbye. It's Hot Dog, the movie.
Well, guys, these were some retro 1980s comedy movie previews. That was awesome! Yeah, I agree with those 1980s comedy movie trailers. They're retro, awesome, and funny, don't you think, friends? Yeah, these trailers caught my eyes. They're funny and retro enough. Yes, yeah, I seem to agree with those funny retro 1980s movie previews on this HD television. Yeah, this funny and retro 1980s comedy movie preview reel caught my giant eyeball.